Dear graduates and families and friends, my name is Anja Wanner, I'm Chair of the English Department, and I welcome you to our online celebration of the Class of 2020. Our keynote speaker is Professor David Zimmerman, Distinguished Teaching Award winner, Associate Chair and Director of Undergraduate Teaching and Learning. You will also find a slideshow with pictures and notes from fellow students and your professors. You can print a program with the name of our graduates and you can join our faculty in the rendition of Varsity. To our students, you did it. You're graduating from a world-class university with a degree in English that tells everyone that you know about the power of language, the potency of stories, and the value of critical analysis. You've studied with the very best teachers. You've learned from award-winning scholars and writers, and you form friendships with students who are as curious and committed as you are. Some of you come from Badger families, and you knew how to jump around before you ever set foot on campus. Some of you are first-generation students, like myself, who could not take any of this experience for granted. More power to you. Some of you are from Wisconsin and some made Wisconsin their home. All of you finished your senior year in the midst of a global health crisis. We asked a lot of you. We asked that you stay home and connect with us and each other from afar. We asked that you push forward at a time that had the ground moving under our feet. And you did. We are so grateful that you led us into your homes via video, like this, that you carved out time for learning, that you finished that paper, and that you set that last final exam. You showed kindness and patience and commitment and resilience. And now you're graduating. Class of 2020, we are so very proud of you. Congratulations to you and your families and on Wisconsin. My name is David Zimmerman. I'm the Associate Chair of the English Department and the Director of its undergraduate program. It's my honor and pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 Celebration of English Graduates, the COVID-19 edition. Today we celebrate these incredible students. Congratulations, graduates, and congratulations, families. While today's a day of celebration, I want to tell you why it's also a sad day for me and my colleagues. Graduates, we'll miss you. Over the last several years, We've come to know you really well. In each class you've taken with us, we've spent 40 hours with you in close conversation, being astonished and transformed by the literature and language and ideas we've explored together. In some cases, if you've taken more than one class with a professor, if you add the time we've spent talking with you in office hours and poring over your remarkable essays and creative writing and thesis projects, we've spent 100 hours with you, maybe more. We're proud of how you've grown as thinkers, writers, and readers. We're also proud of your resilience and grace in the face of the challenges and disappointments created by the COVID-19 pandemic. The challenges include the closing of campus and the shift to online learning. Many of you pulled your hair out learning to navigate Canvas and adjust to new online assignments, which is just as well, since many of you haven't gotten a haircut in two months. For many of you, the challenges went deeper. They included the closing of your workplaces, and the struggle to keep yourself and your family safe and solvent. I know you're disappointed at not being able to graduate with your friends and fellow students on campus. In addition to being proud of you, we also like you a lot. We like your curiosity, your compassion, your commitment, and your good humor. As English professors, we teach literature and writing and language, but first and foremost, we teach students. It's been a joy spending these years with you. It's a sad day for us, but it's a thrilling day too, a day we've been excited about all year. Today is a commencement day, a day of beginning. Today is a day when we face forward, not backward. But I want you for a moment to think back to when you decided to come to the UW. You came from tiny high schools and gigantic ones, some of you confident, some of you nervous. You came with different ideas about what you wanted to study and what you wanted out of college. And from this scatter of backgrounds, and interests, you all decided to become English majors. And as English majors, you became a dynamic community. You exchanged ideas in your classes, read each other's writing, worked together on journals and magazines, dropped your jaws at the same staggering poems, wrestled with complex social problems, and took intellectual risks together. And you learned a ton. Think about all that you know now that you didn't know four years ago. Think about all you can do now 
that you couldn't do four years ago. What good is an English major? You learned how to write and speak effectively. You learned how to interpret and engage complex cultural questions. You learned how to understand other people's perspectives so that you can collaborate with people who have different experiences than you. You learned how to identify and question assumptions, including your own, and to reflect on your methods of reasoning and arguing. You learned words you never imagined existed, like post-human and counter-hegemonic. Some of you coined words of your own for concepts you created. In thinking about our good fortune in having had you as majors, and in thinking about your good fortune in graduating as UW English majors, I thought about fortune cookies and how there are three kinds of fortunes you might get when you break open a cookie. One is a description of you, sometimes incredibly detailed. You enjoy training falcons. Another is a prediction for you, also recklessly specific. You will run into an old friend wearing a leotard. It's not clear whether you or the old friend will be the one wearing the leotard. And the third kind of fortune is a maxim, a pithy statement about life. If you are afraid to shake the dice, you will never throw a six. Okay. I thought I'd end this congratulation address by giving you your fortunes, courtesy of the English department. These are slightly average than the these are slightly larger, longer than the average fortune. So you have to imagine very large cookies to house them. First, the description. You imagine richly. You see language as magic, magic as power, and power as possibility. For you, words matter. They make the world. Second, the prediction. You will be the one in your company who writes all the reports. You will reread a Shakespeare play for the fun of it. You will see life as poetry, story, essay, and play. If you've been my student, you will come across a muted posthorn spray-painted on a wall in some foreign town, and you will send me a photo of it. And third, the pithy truism. English majors may not save the world, but they make the world worth saving. Congratulations, English majors, and congratulations, families, on raising such skilled, motivated, curious, resilient, and yes, employable students. They are our future in every sense, and this should give us all hope. Graduates, we will miss you. Please stay in touch with us, send us emails, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and let us know what you're up to. If in the coming years you can support the department or mentor upcoming English majors in any way, please do. The support and mentorship provided by English alums is crucial for the success of our students. Congratulations again, 2020 graduates, and thank you.
Hi class of 2020 English majors, this is Krista Olson. I want to tell you three things. First, I want to recognize the incredibly hard work you've done to reach this point. Second, I want to congratulate you on your incredible achievements in the English department, in your other classes, and in your life outside of your schoolwork. Um, you have done so much. I'm so proud of that work. And finally, I want to remind you that you are not alone. As you head out from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, you have classmates and professors and staff members who are cheering for you, who support you and believe in you, and we are so proud of the work you've done. Hello seniors, I'm Aparna Dharwadkar and I know that I've had many of you in my classes in the last uh, couple of years. Uh, you are completing your degree at a time for which uh, there is no parallel in our experience uh, and I know that you will need an extraordinary amount of patience and courage and determination as you launch yourselves into the world. Uh, but uh, it is spring and we can get some inspiration from that. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful celebration with your family and virtual celebrations with your friends. Congratulations and good luck. Hello, wonderful graduating seniors. I am so sorry that this is your last semester at UW-Madison, both because I'll miss you and because there's a global pandemic. I am incredibly proud of all the work you've put in to your entire career and very proud of you for finishing under these extraordinarily difficult circumstances. I hope that you get the chance to celebrate this and really, really find joy in it. It's a huge deal and this moment doesn't define all that you've done and all that you'll do. Please come back and visit us. We'll hang out on the terrace and celebrate all that your life has become. Great job, really thinking of you. Thanks for all you've done to improve my research, my teaching, and my life at UW-Madison. Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Professor Zweck. I don't normally dress like this, quite at least, but I thought I'd do my best for a quarantine version of Regalia. So I had the great pleasure of getting to know many of you during your time at UW-Madison, and I wanted to take the chance to say congratulations on graduating. We are all so proud of you and so excited to see what you do next. We know whatever it is, it's going to be amazing. Congratulations. Praise to thee, our alma mater. You 